I'm Sheila. And every Wednesday on my blog, To Love, Honor, and Vacuum, we talk marriage for Wifey Wednesday. Yesterday, I posted something which said that you should either use it or lose it. In other words, if we aren't making love very often with our husbands, we're going to find that our libido really drops. So the more that you make love, ironically, the more you actually want to. But there were some interesting questions and comments on that post. And one woman said, what do you do if you just never want to? What do you do if it just doesn't feel that great, if it just isn't that fun? And so in this video, I want to address that with just three quick points. First of all, it is supposed to feel fun. And if you're in a marriage where sex just doesn't feel good, I want you to tell yourself this. God made it to feel fun, and one day it will. Just keep telling yourself that. One day it will. Because sometimes we get in this spiral where we believe it's just hopeless. It's not hopeless. It's supposed to feel good. Second point, often women um, aren't really comfortable thinking about our bodies. We tend to tune out when it comes to our bodies. Like it, It's like the saying that southern women don't don't perspire, they glow. And you're never supposed to fart in public, you're not supposed to burp, like women are supposed to keep all their bodily functions hidden so that nothing can possibly embarrass us. And because of that, I think we become very disassociated from our bodies. We're not used to feeling anything good. We're kind of embarrassed if you start to feel any kind of pleasure. And so we get embarrassed in front of our husbands. So start paying attention to your body, even outside of the sexual realm. You know, exercise more, stretch every day. It's amazing how much when you stretch and you start to feel muscles, you start to actually like your body and pay attention to your body. Third thing, learn what feels good in the bedroom. Sometimes when you start making love and it isn't going well, you just figure this was created for him, it was not created for me, and I do not see what all the fuss is about. What you need to do is take a step backwards and start trying to figure out what does feel good to you. And this might need to be a really slow process. So here's some ideas. Take a bath together and just let him touch you. You may not actually know how you like being touched. Um, play some games where you set the timer for 10 minutes and he gets to touch you anywhere he wants and you can't, let, you can't tell him to stop so that you have to see what feels good. And if he's doing something which doesn't feel good, move his hand or tell him that that's not really it. But learn how to relax. Practice breathing when you're doing it. Um, and just pay attention to your body's cues. Here's a question to ask yourself, what do I want him to do next? When you start asking yourself that question, what actually wants to be touched? Where is my body feeling good? You start to notice that it is feeling good some places. And then when you figure out where it feels good, when you figure out where you do want to be touched, move his hand there. You might be uncomfortable saying something out loud, but move his hand or just let him know that what he's doing is good. So those three things. Make sure that you believe that it will feel good at one point. Pay attention to your body and then take some time just touching and start to reawaken your sex drive. I hope that helps and I'll have lots more advice for you on future Wifey Wednesdays.